doing something that I have never done before. I am going to plant garlic. So I revive this old bed, I put more soil in it, and then I plant some old stuff. I don't actually know if it's going to grow, but you know what? There's no harm in trying. The sun is finally back after all that rain that we have endured for far too long. It's beautiful, it's warm, it's exactly what I feel like I need, so a day like today, this is the day that you go plant. I have these old garlic cloves that have been sitting in my cupboard for uh, probably far too long. There's an organic one that I picked up really cheap and I thought, yeah, I'm totally going to use this. And then they got shoved in the back and I totally forgot about them. So rather than just letting them go super gross, I decided, you know what? Let's try to plant them. I've never planted garlic. I don't actually really know how to plant garlic, but I figured they're going to go to waste anyway. So why not? They don't look really great, to be honest. This is right near my chicken coop, right next to my house in my backyard. And this is the abandoned bed that I have uh, kind of let the plants get to. Let's just get this out. Ugh. Yeah, let's get it out, hey? Yeah, let's get all of this stuff out. I know this is a good area to be planting because I found some mushrooms here. First thing that I've done is pulled out all the weeds, gotten all, rid of all the big sticks and some of the rocks that have fallen in, and just, I've left all the debris in because I figured this would be great for the soil. What are we gonna go do? Um put the soil all down. Where are we putting the soil? Oh, what are we gonna grow in here, do you know? Some plants. So if you notice, the soil has really, really dropped down here. There's actually not a great place to be planting um, straight in the ground because it's just sandstone underneath. So I definitely needed to top it up. I'm using a mixture of compost and potting mix that is specific for container gardening or building and raised beds like this. Um, and I bought four bags, so two bags of compost, two bags of potting mix. It definitely was not enough. In the meantime, my little supervisor told me that he wanted a giant pile of leaves to jump in. So rather than blow them with the blower, I had to get the broom and manually sweep them all so that he could jump around in them. So I make this beautiful pile of leaves for him to run around and jump in. I thought he'd throw it a bit, but instead he does a couple of circles and then decides that he's had enough and he's done. Kids, man.
It's another day, which means it's finally time to finish building up the soil in this raised bed. This time I'm just putting compost on top. Usually I would probably like this to break down, have more time to sit and just settle a bit, but I'm working against the clock. According to something that I read, you should be planting your garlic before your winter solstice, which is the 21st of June for us. So I wanted to make sure that I got in nice and early, well, a little bit early. And I'm really glad that I did because since then we've actually had a frost, which is very early for us. So first of all, I was just figuring out where do I even plant this stuff? I have no idea for spacing. This is something I should have looked up beforehand, but this is all garlic, so I'm not really sure if any of it's gonna pop up. But I thought, why not? I don't know what I'm doing, but this is the best way to learn for me. It's just through experience. I watered it down and then I added some organic sugarcane mulch. And then I also added a net. It's super windy today, which I'm really glad that I ended up adding this net because otherwise all of that sugarcane mulch would have just blown away. But also this will keep the possums out and the chickens and anything else that wants to investigate. And yes, it took me more than one water can it was a lot of up and down that hill, I could tell you. It's all done, so fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. 